What we're doing here today is we're going to be tapping some silver maple trees um, in the hopes of making some maple syrup this spring. The, the process really hasn't changed uh, since about 1860. You have to tap a tree and, and that basically is drilling a hole uh, into a tree about uh, an inch and a half to two inches deep. So we're gonna put this drop line, uh, tap it into the tree, and you have to be real careful so you don't crack the tree. The trees are frozen this time of year, and so it's easy to crack them. We're gonna run this drop line into a five gallon bucket, and then the process starts all over again with the next tap. Each one of these holes is a, a, a tap hole that was drilled into the side of that tree where sap was extracted. And what you see are uh, what we call the sap stain. It's, it's the zone from which the sap was pulled from. We don't ever want to tap in the same place twice. So we always move over about two inches and up about two inches on a tree when we tap it. And we know we're getting into good wood that's going to produce good quality sap. We're always asked, when do you make maple syrup? Well, it starts now. It starts in the middle of February. And if we're lucky, we'll go through February and into the first part of March. We may sometimes get a three to four day season. Sometimes we'll get a six week season, but it's only in the spring. It's only in North America. Nowhere else in the world do they make maple syrup. And so we are at the, the western edge of a very unique tradition. So we have it on number one, so it'll go slow. Um, and you may have to clean it out once or twice. Iowa State University is, is going to be producing uh, maple syrup. We're going to be teaching people how to tap trees, how to gather that sap, how to boil it down, and really how to, to preserve it for the long term and, and hopefully how to utilize it. Uh, that's always the enjoyable part. I, I have no great plans of turning Iowa into the next Quebec or the next Vermont or Maine. Uh, we don't have the sugar maple capacity that they have. What we do have are a lot of young sugar maple stands that are growing. They're replacing our oak hickory forest. We have a lot of silver maples along our riparian areas and they're really underutilized uh, areas. And, and I'm looking to create a whole cadre of individuals that are, are producing at a hobby scale, maybe at a small commercial scale, enough syrup for their friends, for their family, and possibly some to be sold out of the, out of the door. Where I see it really growing in the next 10 years is at that hobby scale, uh, one to maybe 200 taps, and that will be enough syrup for them to sell.